this outstanding event. My name is Kelly Carson. I'm the Executive Director for the Cochrane District Chamber of Commerce, and it's my pleasure to be your MC here tonight. It's my absolute pleasure to be the MC tonight, and I'm incredibly proud of be sharing the afternoon with an alignment and a mandate of support the local business community. We know we have a great community. We know we just came through, and we want to get this thing into the back into the next level. I want to go through a little housekeeping stuff to start with. The first thing is, is I want everybody to understand this is a bar. You haven't seen one for a while. This is an event where we can talk, we can smile, and you'll probably hear this today. Oh, I didn't recognize you because I never met you until you had a mask on the whole time. So we want to make sure we talk to everybody. It's an opportunity for you to hand business cards out. This is what the Choc Cochrane Chamber of Commerce does, is that we socialize and we network. And this is a, a first of many, and I'm proud to be part of it. So other things, safety. There's the doors there. We don't, don't want to run there if we got an issue. There's a door on the outside on the patio that'll get you out of here, and you can actually go through the other sides of the other restaurants and out. So make sure you do that. The washrooms are located at the back where you see the exit sign. If you just head down that hallway, the washrooms are there. The food is coming out right now. Help yourself to the food. And if you didn't get a drink ticket, please see the registration desk and go from there. So today we celebrate and we'll have uh, some excellent people in here. And we're partnering with uh, Cochrane Tourism and we're going to do that in a lot of events this year. And we're happy to have uh, Joanne in the, in the house today. We also have support from the town of Cochrane and their business development and Mr. Mike Gorman. And I know Mike's here today and we'd like to thank him for everything he does for us. In honor, in honor to a great company today, you'll also be hearing from Chamber President Ozzy Sawicki, uh, Cochrane Tourism uh, Executive Director Joanne, as I just spoke about, uh, MP Blake Richards, MLA Peter Guthrie, and our mayor, of course, Jeff Ganung. Special thanks to the members of the media that have joined us here today. We really appreciate it, and we hope we get good coverage from it. So following will also be appetizers that will go on until about uh, quarter to six, and we want you to continue on here. If you'd like to have supper here, they'd love to have you. So we hope everybody will hang out and visit and exchange those cards as we spoke. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Ozzy Swicky, President of the Cochrane District Chamber of Commerce. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, it's wonderful to see faces again and have people back together. Uh, this is something we've missed for many, many months. And I also noticed that with the heavy smoke that we've had over the past number of days, today that smoke seems to have lifted a little bit. So maybe this announcement today is a bit of the parting of the, the smoke to the clearing skies for the future. So, so let's be positive on that front. So a key thing is the chamber during this entire time of COVID, we've remained active and today is another step in our activity. So over the past many months, we've really tried to be an advocate for the businesses in our community and tried to act as a collaborative role. And our chamber has changed uh, a fair amount over the past many months. Uh, we've hosted a number of virtual uh, collaboration events. So we've seen most of you on Zoom many, many times not necessarily in person, so it's exciting to, to shake hands again and see people. Uh, we definitely were involved in the economic recovery task force that was established in the town, and some of those discussions and conversations led to programs that were implemented in collaboration with the chamber. Uh, one of the key things that still is happening at this point is there is a grant that's available to businesses that if you are using accounting help or legal help to work in some of the funding that you've raised, that opportunity is still there to acquire some of those dollars. So please make sure you check out the Chamber website for that information. A big thing that changed for us this year is in December uh, of last year, we brought on board Kelly Carson that just introduced myself. And that is the first time we've introduced an executive director role as a full-time staff role with the chamber. And we found it's already made a significant difference for us in that we have somebody that can meet and speak with the different businesses in the community, can be a representative with the town, town council, that it's created a better collaboration and community with, with our role as a chamber in the community. I'm using notes just to make sure I'm accurate. So 
Other things that we're really doing are trying to create support mechanisms in the community. We have, as I said, we've tried to do that over the course of the past months, but now we have to step up our game. Now that we can be in person, we really want to amplify what we're doing and get to meet people in the community and create opportunities where businesses find they can realize they have collaborative opportunities in the community. They can talk to one another, they can see how they can work together. They can look at how can we be involved with the different areas of our community from nonprofit to other profit opportunities and other ventures that are happening. So we really want to promote these businesses as we move forward. So this brings us to the launch of today. So the program that is happening is funded through federal funding. It's an opportunity that is happening through the chambers of commerce across the province. And we're pretty proud in Cochrane that we're one of the first chambers that's stepping up to make this announcement of this program. Uh, the program, which is Cochrane Loves Local, which you see behind me. Uh, so I'll explain the gist of the program uh, so that you have an understanding. It's a marketing campaign. The focus of the campaign is really to focus uh, the interest on our local businesses and it's designed to create a platform so that it's not just about go and shop local. Uh, we've worked through that before. Now it's engaging people to create videos, to create opportunities to talk about why is it important to shop local? Who are the local businesses that you really found uh, amazing in your paths and testimonials and videos and so on that you can talk about the businesses that are of benefit to you in your community? So we literally do want Cochrane uh, to love local. So we want the people of Cochrane, the people coming through Cochrane to recognize the businesses that are here. So we're really inviting people to continue shopping in the community. We want local businesses to be recognized for what they do. And ultimately we wanna showcase those local businesses. So to find out about this, uh, the chamber itself, we're going to be promoting this through our Facebook and Instagram pages, through our website, but also the focus will be on the campaign website, which is at www.cochranloveslocal.com. And that's where you'll be able to get the information you need if you want more information to find out. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of board members from the Cochrane Chamber that are going to be running around town talking about this program and promoting this program. So we want to make sure you're really aware of what this is all about. The other thing that's important in this is we've focused on collaboration. So I'm going to be turning this over to Joanna Ocharak, who is the representative with Cochrane Tourism. And they are the key partner in this program, uh, in addition to the community and chamber. So Joanne, it's yours. Thank you. Thanks, Ozzy. We are very excited to have a live event. Like, man, it's been a long time. It's great to see people. Great to see your smiling faces. <laughs> Haven't seen that in a long time. And we're very excited to partner with the Chamber on this program because it is all about shopping local and promoting our local businesses. And the Tourism Association um, has been working hard because the tourism sector has been the hardest hit. Our restaurants, our tour operators, they've gone through quite the... 16 months or 18 months, whatever it is. Um, we're, we're working hard to help support that reopening and reigniting what's here. And um, one of the first things we did that combines this campaign, the Love Local, is our picnic program. And so we have, together with the Chamber, offered our uh, Explore Cochrane backpacks. Every Tuesday, you can order a picnic from one of our local restaurants. Um, a few of you have already done that. When you order that, you're supporting our local restaurants, you're adding to the revenue stream, you get a great handcrafted picnic basket, and you get the first 50 get them packed in these backpacks. And so it's an awesome program. Um, if you haven't picked one up yet, check it out, cochranetourism.ca.picnic. The other thing that, um, as Ozzy said, is all about collaboration. And our mandate is promoting our tourism partners. And so this will really leverage that through the Love Local campaign. We know that the impact of marketing is really important on our businesses. And you know this is gonna be another place to share with our tour operators, our retailers, our restaurants, um, our services, our boutiques, our hotels, and all in the Cochrane area. Another key part of what the Tourism Association does is we create and help to develop tourism products. And so 
this year, Cochrane Tourism was able to develop a six-month business accelerator program. We called it the Tourism Product Mentorship Program. And through this pandemic, we were able to assist eight businesses in adding a new revenue stream to their business. Their business. So they met weekly from May to from October to May, and we were able to launch seven new tourism offerings for locals and tourists to enjoy. We're going to be running this program again in the fall, and so if this is of interest, please feel free to talk to me or Kelly Sinclair about it. We'd love to tell you about it, and um, you know. It's so great to be part of this campaign because we have a beautiful community and it's a great place to play, live, and to collaborate. I'll pass this back to Kelly. Thanks, Joanne. Uh, yeah, we're excited to partner with yourself and all your experience in doing these events, So, and as well as Kelly Sinclair. So our next speaker, of course, is our member of parliament from Banff Airdrie, Mr. Blake Richards. Thanks, Blake, for coming today. Well, thank you. First of all, I got to say, I love the logo. Looks a lot like another logo I know that's going to have my name on with it on signs real soon, apparently. So, uh, but anyway, I, I just want to say uh, thank you uh, and congratulations to the chamber and to Cochrane Tourism for this for this campaign. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it's a great idea. It's you know, it's so important, and I don't have to tell anyone in this room because you're here because you do care, because you do support the community. Um, but it's so important that we do that. I mean, when we think, and I see a lot of, you know, great local business people right here in the room with us today, but our business people in the community are the people who step up and support all the causes in the community, right? We have, whether it's kids' sports teams, whether it's, you know, charitable initiatives, wh whatever it is, all of those things only can happen because of the support of our local business owners. And so when they need our support right now, we need to be there to make sure we give them our support so we can keep all of those things going in the community as well. So it's critical, it's important, and I'm really excited to see this campaign being launched. And I encourage everyone to do their part to participate in it because it, it is absolutely important that we support our local small businesses. So encourage everyone to do everything you can to be a part of it. Thank you to all of our sp uh, sponsors, all of the local business owners that uh, keep this community so great. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Blake. Uh, excellent to hear from the federal government and, and the position they're in that their local is the same as ours. So. I guess we were first, but anyway. So uh, thanks to Blake again. And so our next speaker up is Peter Guthrie. He's our, our MLA for our beautiful uh, Cochrane town, and we're happy to have him, and we sure enjoyed his breakfast the other day. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Uh, good afternoon. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, I want to I'm just so happy to, to see uh, a campaign like this being launched, Cochrane uh, uh, Loves Campaign. Uh, thank you to the Chamber of Commerce and to uh, Cochrane Tourism um, you know, for hosting this event and for highlighting the essential role that our local businesses play in our community. And small business owners, they're among the hardest working people in this province. And as a small business owner myself, uh, I've often been thinking back, thinking back to uh, the position that many must have endured over the past 18 months. And when I was, uh, well, my wife and I, uh, when we began our business, we took our life savings and put it into that business. And then we borrowed twice that amount. So small business owners around you, many of them, they are all in. So their financial future is at risk, and that comes with a lot of stress. There's a lot of there's a heavy burden that uh, that sits on those shoulders. And so these la last 18 months, they have been awfully, awfully tough going. But local businesses, what did they do? Well, they hustled. They hustled to make changes, hustled to adapt, and all of this while trying to keep their customers and their staff safe. And that staff, by the way especially with a small business. That staff, that's, that's a, like a family unit there, and you care for each other. 
but with struggle, many times, does come opportunity. And as we come out of this crisis, we are witnessing tremendous growth across this province and the country for that matter. But we're seeing new business ventures springing up and investment in multiple sectors across the province and our economy. And I think we are poised for a very strong recovery. Now that the province has reopened, uh, and by the way, this is not just for summer, we are open for good. You can mark that one down. The Cochrane Loves Local Campaign, this presents tremendous opportunity for us to support those business owners who have been there for all of us, for our families, and for our kids along the way. And this fits with some of the messaging that we're seeing from the government of Alberta. We recently launched a new campaign ourselves the Made in Alberta by Albertans. It's a, it's a label that, uh, that we created, one to support uh, local uh, agriculture producers, those who sell and market their products and contribute to our local economy. So Alberta, we're known, we're known for supporting local. And this investment in our communities, and it, it, this strengthens, strengthens not only our local economy, but it also provides a foundation for charities and our schools and for many organizations around us. So I'm proud to see this campaign kicking off here and, and taking hold in Cochrane. So thank you, thumbs up to uh, the Cochrane Chamber of Commerce and to Cochrane Tourism for bringing about this initiative and thank you to all of you for being here today and supporting local. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Much appreciated. The kind words from the province. So our last speaker, Mayor Ganon. I've had the opportunity over the last seven uh, months to work with him on many projects. Hardest working guy I know. So thanks, Mayor. We appreciate you. Well, thank you, Kelly. Try to get me all broken up before I get up here. Uh, one of the great things about being mayor is I get to go last. The federal government, the provincial government, and the municipal government way down here. But, so, uh, with that opportunity, I guess, is that everybody's still listening, I think. But the downside is that uh, those two fellows took everything that I was going to say. But, uh, I just want to build on that. First of all, uh, Peter, thank you, and Blake, thank you for being here. I think it uh, speaks volumes to have all three levels of government uh, supporting this great initiative today. And thank all of you. Peter said that as well, but that's one thing that I wanted to share today is that um, it's people like you working hard throughout this pandemic that has gotten us through to the other side. It has not been easy. It's been a struggle. A lot of people uh, had to lean on a lot of other people, and here we are. And Cochrane has this resiliency and this special, what is it, Joanne? Feeling. Thank you. It's a feeling. And that feeling is that energy that binds us all together and pulls us up and through the hard times. I don't know if there's ever going to be a test quite as uh, arduous as the one that we just came through. I hope there isn't another one, at least maybe for another 100 years. That'll be the next mayor's problem. The traffic, oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Uh, so you've heard me talk about investing in our community. And one of those projects is the traffic. And I'm not sure if maybe you had the opportunity to travel through that on the way here. Maybe some of you are late because of it. Uh, please bear with us. It's only gonna be another two or three years and then we'll have it done. Um, I'm not kidding. And. So with that investment though, it's much like owning and supporting a small business. When you're supporting a small business, you are in fact investing in your community. And as Blake and Peter both eloquently said, as you pass those dollars on to those small businesses, you are feeding their families, you are allowing them to support the hockey teams or the swim club or the soccer team, and also pay taxes here in Cochrane from a commercial side and not a residential. So it's one thing, it's taking a bit of a burden off the residents of Cochrane. Enough about taxes. 
But uh, as you are investing in that community, you're allowing the community itself to invest in those projects like I talked about, the 1A project, the new RCMP detachment that is coming out of the ground already, and downtown with the transit hub. Those types of projects are the community now investing in itself, but thanks to local businesses for, uh, and you for supporting that through those hard times. So uh, I don't wanna go on and on, but I do think this is such a great initiative. Uh, we talked about some of the things that we did throughout COVID to try and help local business. And one of it, it really, all we can do as a municipality is lean on you residents and you uh, fellow business owners to help each other get through this. And I'm just so proud and thankful to be uh, representing you as mayor of a community that has done so well throughout the pandemic. And now it's just so awesome to be back in person, smiling, having a drink of water or whatever it is, and enjoying one another's company and getting back together again. So thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And congratulations, Cochrane Tourism and the Chamber of Commerce. Thanks, Mayor. Really appreciate it. So just got a few little things to clean up here before we can get started with the food. And that would be the number one thing. We'd like to thank the Stump for hosting us here today. Trish and her staff have done a fabulous job. And you'll see the food out on the counter and behind there. Please help yourself uh, to it. It'll continue out there. When, when it's gone, they'll fill it up. So we'd like to thank them for that. Some special people I'd like to thank. <coughs> First one is Kelly St. Clair, KS Communications. She's a superstar. <laughs> Kaylee Mitchell from the Quirk Social. I'd like to thank her. Uh, Julie Haskins of Muse Designs, and better known for the town of Cochrane. Web and video creations by Chris. And Chris is right there behind the camera. Did a marvelous job. Thanks, Chris. So the last thing we want to touch on, we've had some fabulous people donate some door prizes, and I'm going to tell you how it's going to work. So for our content, we're going to do tidbits here where the girls are going to ask some questions to you. And if you, if you want to do it, we can also do it silently. There will be papers passed out that you can do anything you want to do that says why you love Cochrane. And those people that participate in the video will get their name put into the draw, and you'll get a chance to win a prize. And the people that have donated kindly, and I hope I haven't missed anybody, is Kelsey Cavan. She's donated some coffee, which is nice. Christine Richmond, a vendor for Haven Spa. Cochrane Tourism, a backpack. The Kohler Core Worker, right over there is Mark. We'd like to appreciate that. The Stump is jersey socks and shirts. The jersey's a soccer jersey, very nice. Uh, ear Reflexology, a $50 gift certificate. William Jones, a print. And Pure Anna, a skincare and makeup gift certificate. So thanks to those people. And again, please enjoy yourself and drive safely. And if anybody needs a ride or needs any help, please let me know. Thank you. <laughs>